All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install these cost bars on a uh, 2019 to probably like 2021 RDX. Um, it's pretty simple to do. I put one on already, um, but what you're gonna need to do is uh, loosen this and the other one um, to the point where you can almost take it off. Um, let me loosen that up and I'll show you um, how to line it up properly. Okay, so next that we do wanna do is put something, um, since this is glass, put like either a towel, you know, something soft that it would, wouldn't mess up the glass. So since I'm doing a one man job, uh, I put a box on it um, to kinda leverage it up to the point where it's over the glass and I can maneuver it. Uh, it's always helpful to have, do this as a two man job, but so what you wanna do is position where you want your you know, cross bars. So you can position in the uh, instruction manual, you can either position it here, which I believe, I'm not sure what the position is called, but if you put it here, um, it'll have less wind noise than if you would have put it, uh, let's see, uh, here. So this is further up so that, you know, when you drive, you'll hear more wind. Um, but I think ideally here would be a good spot if you're gonna put like a longer um, cargo, like a kayak. So I'm probably gonna mount my, my front ones here as opposed to, um, as opposed to here, which I think it's too short. So if you look at my current ones, I already installed the back ones. So if you either here, it'll give it more stability versus here. So it just depends on what you're putting on. Um, it's put, it's, you know, it's, it's easy to put on and it's, I'm sure it's the same. It's pretty easy to put, you know, take out and stuff. So to position to where you want it to be. Um, what I might do first is since I'm not kayaking right now, it's still winter time here in Pennsylvania. I'm probably gonna put it here to see how it sounds. Um, and I'm probably gonna get a, a snowboard attachment to put onto the crossbars. Uh, and then I'll, probably what I'll do is in the summer when I uh, get my kayak, I'll probably place it here. Um, so yeah, it just depends on where you wanna put it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna position these right here. Like I said, you know, this looks pretty good. So that way I can put uh, my snowboard attachment on. Um, so what you wanna do is make sure you loosen these two to the point where this will come out and then you could adjust where you wanna put it. Um, so now what I did was here, these, these, I don't know what you call it, but these will line up with the hose that I just showed you. Um, that goes snug fit in, make sure, you know, this is snug fit. And then what you wanna do is go over to the other side and do that. Um, don't tighten these yet because you gotta wait till you position the other side to make sure that those are flush in before you start tightening. Um, oh, another thing what you wanna make sure you do is this right here, um, the, the ones I did in the rear, I, I loosened it so much that this part popped out down here and it wasn't secure. So just make sure this is secure in these slots and then make sure these are lined up. Uh, and then you wanna, of course, tighten and torque it. I think the book says three pounds of torque. Uh, I'll, I'll double check, but let's go do the other side. Right, so I tighten, I um, put these inside the the slots for this side. Um, I couldn't do it with one hand, so I figure, you know, it's pretty basic. You guys can just figure it out. But once you align the the points to the slots, you know, just double check. 
you know, these are lined up. And then what you're now going to do is make sure that this is clamped underneath this, this rail part. So it'll basically, um, so see how it lifts up and then it snug fits to tighten that part. So this part's rubber, so it's not going to damage your rails. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and tighten these up. So I'm going to put the camera down and just tighten these up and show you guys the end result and what they look like. Okay, so I tighten these up. They're snug, pretty tight. Um, like I said, just torque it to the specification um, in the manual, which I'll, it, the manual comes with these crossbars. Um, I ordered this from this one website online, which was cheaper than the dealership. And then, so what you wanna do now is just secure this so, you know, no one can take your crossbars um so just put these cover plates on so all you do is turn it clockwise and to, to take it off you know counterclockwise um so these are secure um so yeah uh this project you know i i'm not a mechanic or anything but this took me maybe 30 to 40 minutes um once you figure out the where to put you know the position and how to um how to do it it's it's pretty easy but yeah if you have a you know two people to do it it'll probably go a lot quicker uh it's just me by myself so I, like i said um make sure like i said put something here so you you're protecting your your moonroof sunroof um, so you don't crack it or anything. Um, I put a box here just in case. Um, you can also put a towel underneath here and then put this on top or just something to raise it to the point where it's not going to hit your glass. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy project.